Thanks for being here. Last month, thousands of people in Pennsylvania opened up electric bills to find the amount they were being charged doubled, sometimes even tripled. As of Monday, over 7,000 people have contacted the Pennsylvania Public Utility Commission regarding a high electric bill, and they say this is the largest number of calls that they have seen in a short amount of time. Jacqueline Kovac found out what you can do if you have a large bill, and she's here with those details for us. Jackie. Yes, right now, 2,600 people have filed complaints with the Pennsylvania Public Utility Commission about high electric bills. And since the state attorney general announced people could call her office, another 1,900 have done so. But what can you still do? And I'm asking the question. Hundreds of six news viewers wrote on our Facebook wall about their high electric bills and the difficulties of trying to pay for them. Bills for PA customers rose two to three times. Most of them had signed up for variable rate plans. Many customers have run into the issue during the past several months where they got an introductory low rate. Uh, and after a certain period of time, that rate was converted into a variable rate, which led to the high bills in late January and, and February. On Monday, the Public Utility Commission announced it had received more than 2,600 informal complaints about high electric bills. That's roughly 10 times more than the same time last year. It's by hearing from all of these consumers, it's giving us a picture of who, um, who the problem companies are, where the problems are stemming, and with that, we have begun an inquiry into all of the electric generation suppliers, taking a closer look at their disclosure statements, how they deal with um, customers, the things that they're telling customers and how they approach them in seeking a customer to switch to that particular competitive supplier. Many times filing a complaint won't help towards making a payment. Both the PUC and First Energy officials recommend calling your provider first to try to resolve the issue. We will work with every customer to work out a payment agreement. Second thing those customers can do is contact their supplier, whomever that supplier may be that they chose, and try and work with that supplier to see if the supplier will give a rebate, discounted rate, discounted price, whatever it may be. Surgeoner says that if you still are not satisfied with any resolution you receive from First Energy or your electric provider, then you are urged to file a complaint with the Pennsylvania Utility Commission or the State Attorney General's Office. Now that information on how to contact the UPC or the State Attorney General's Office will be available on our website, WJACTV.com. Reporting live, Jacqueline Kovac, 6 News. A lot of